Hello, uh, welcome to this quick tutorial on how to get up and running with Arduino talking to the PC using a serial port and working in Visual Studio. I'm using an Arduino Mega 2560 but this works with pretty much any Arduino. The Arduino is plugged in via its USB and if we look in my device manager we can see it presents itself as a COM port, uh, COM port 3. The next thing you need to do to get the toolchain up and running is download Visual Micro. This is a plugin for Visual Studio which allows you to program the Arduino from within the Visual Studio environment instead of using the standard Arduino interface which I personally don't find as useful as Visual Studio. Now, once you've got Visual Micro installed, we can go and have a quick look in Visual Studio and the first thing we need to do is have a look at the options. Down here there will be some options for Visual Micro and the important thing to do is make sure the Arduino application setting is set to the folder on your computer where the Arduino stuff is installed. There are a lot of other settings but they're not necessary for what we're trying to do here. Uh, the next stage is to create a new Arduino project so we go new Arduino project we'll give it a name and the template program appears there's two functions in here setup and loop but very simply when the Arduino starts it runs everything in setup and then after that it keeps executing all the functions in loop over and over and over again until it's turned off or reset so we want to use the serial port so what we need to do is open the serial port in the setup command so we say serial begin and then we have to say what rate we want the serial port working at I've chosen 57600 I know that you can use the serial port more quickly than that but my mechanical sympathy says why use something at its maximum rate if you don't need to in fact 9600 would probably do fine here in the loop we now need to send something down the serial port. So, we'll serial print line hello world. Uh, it's not very exciting, so let's, uh, let's output a value as well. So, if we say serial print uh, pi equals and then serial print line pi, comma 6. So what these commands do is this will print a line to the serial port with the text hello world in it. This will print pi equals to the serial port but it won't put a new line in. So on the same line it will then print pi to six decimal places um, and then it will do a new line. So the pi equals and the pi value will appear on the same line. If we press play up here or F5 uh, the program is compiled the first time you compile it, it takes a little while. After that, it compiles more quickly each time. And it then uploads to the board, and it's done uploading. If we click on this button here, we can open a serial port monitor tool. And we can see hello world and pi equals appearing on the COM port on the PC. If we just close that and go back in here, if we put a delay in and just press F5, upload it again, uploads done, look in the serial port monitor and we can now see the data is coming through much more slowly which is fine for this demo. So we've written a very simple Arduino program which opens the COM port and sends, keeps sending a little bit of text down it. So if we close that, if we now go to another copy of Visual Studio and we do a new project, this time not an Arduino project, just a standard project in Visual Studio um, and I'm just going to choose a console application that's effectively a program that doesn't have any windows, it just runs in a DOS box and we'll just give it a name now this is the location on my computer where it wants to save this program by the way and you can do a lot worse than point that at something like Google Drive or Dropbox so your software is immediately backed up into the into the internet and you'll never lose it. Um, I might also add that Visual Studio supports 
the very sophisticated team foundation server which you can use if you've got multiple PCs or multiple developers involved and it's free for a small number of users anyway that's an aside so we say OK here and a very simple program appears and when this program starts it will run all the commands in main and then it'll close so we need to create in this Windows program we need to declare an object to be the serial port so I'll call it obj serial and it's a system.io.ports.serial port um, I want to actually instantiate the object so we say new and then on the end here we say com3 I've declared this with events this means that this object can produce events that the program can handle in another procedure so if I select obj serial from this list here and go to data received it produces another stub uh, which is called every time the, pro the PC receives some data on the COM port. All I want to do is spit that data out to the screen so we'll just serial write obj serial dot uh, read existing and it'll just write out to the console any data that it's received. Before we can do that we need to open the COM port so in the main procedure uh, we'll say obj serial will set the board rate uh, to 5600 which is the same as we did in the Arduino code at the other end of the serial port and then we'll say obj serial dot open which will open the COM port. If we just leave it there the program will simply close as soon as it's run those commands so what I want to do is I just say console read key and that's the equivalent of press any key to continue um, and then finally we'd want to close the port once the program shuts down if I run that program again just pressing F5 uh, a DOS box appears and we can see that what's been spat out of the Arduino is being pushed out onto the screen on the PC so I press any key and it closes if we go back to the other serial test and put another message in My name is Tom. Oop, gotta put a semicolon on the end. Uh, put the website. Run that. Uploads it. Go back to the Windows program. Run that program. And we see the stuff coming out. So that's a very simple program on the Arduino that pushes messages out to the Arduino's built-in COM port and a very simple Windows program which receives those messages. Obviously a more useful program is going to have to do something with those messages but that's another story and that's the end of this tutorial. Thank you very much. P.S. One thing I forgot to say when you're in Visual Studio you're programming the Arduino there's a drop down list here which tells our, the Visual Micro plugin which uh, Arduino you're actually programming um, and there's a lot of different choices um, and I'm using that one and you can also select which COM port it's attached to here uh, simple but important little step thank you, Good night.